Welcome to our lecture online. Continuing with our quest to determine what space actually is, let's now think about the expansion of space and in some recent discovery. And when we say recent, probably within the last 25 years, in the late 1990s, something very interesting was discovered. So when we go back to the concept of expanding space, we can go back to what we call Hubble Long. Hubble discovered that the galaxies were receding away from us and he realized that the speed at which they moved away from us depending upon the distance to those galaxies. If a galaxy was twice as far away compared to another galaxy, that galaxy would be moving away from us as twice the speed. And a galaxy that was three times as far away would be moving away from us at three times the speed and so forth. And then finally, over many years, they determined what that speed was relative to the distance. And so they determined that if an object, like a galaxy, was one megaparsec away. Now, what's a megaparsec? Well, mega stands for million, and parsec is 3.26 light years. So one megaparsec is 3.26 million light years. And the light year is the distance light travels in a single year. So 3.26 million light years is the distance that light travels in 3.26 million years, which is an enormous distance. Well, galaxies that far away would be traveling at 70 kilometers per second. A galaxy that's twice as far away, like two megaparsecs, would be traveling at 140 kilometers per second and so forth. And so we've been studying that number that we call that the Hubble constant. For every one megaparsec, it's 70 kilometers per second. So for 10 megaparsecs, it would be 700 kilometers per second. And for a thousand megaparsecs, now we're talking about more than 3 billion light years, that would be 70,000 kilometers per second. So we've been trying to figure out if that holds true for all distances. And then also, we tried to find a way to verify that that number is correct. And the studies are still ongoing. At this time, the estimate is that the Hubble constant is somewhere between 68 and 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec, depending upon which research you want to look at, the most recent research. So it's still not at all an established exact number. We're still trying to figure that out. So what we do have to try to double check to see if that's happening and what's happening is we can take a look at what we call type 1a supernovas. Now a type 1a supernova is when the core of a dying star, the remnant of a dying star, the core of a star, exceeds a certain limit in mass. So sometimes cores will pull in mass from nearby other stars and when they exceed 1.4 times the mass of the sun, those are large cores of large very large stars to begin with. Well, when they exceed that, what they call the Chandrasekhar Star limit, 1.4 times the mass of the sun, they will explode, an enormous explosion. And the magnitude of that, which is essentially how bright they are, is a minus 19. Now, to non-astronomers, that may not mean a lot, but converting that to comparing that to the sun, it is the amount of light that three and a half billion suns would put out at the same time. So can you imagine the light from three and a half billion suns in the same location? That would be just absolutely enormous. And so those supernovas can be seen over very large distances. So since they're all the same brightness, every type 1a supernova is at the same brightness because of how they are created, so to speak. They're all at the same brightness. So therefore, we know what to expect. So if we see them at a certain brightness, we know how far they are. So that means that if we have a type 1a supernova that's moving away from us at 70,000 kilometers per second, one that's really far away, we expect it to be at 1,000 megaparsec. And we know that for closer distances with those type 1a supernova, that works out quite nicely. And we know that the approximate Hubble constant, that slope of that line, is about 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But when we start looking at those type 1a supernovas really far away when we expect them to be at a certain distance and of course we know that distance based upon how bright or how dim they are the farther away they are of course the dimmer they appear and so when we measure their brightness and then we measure their what we call recessional velocity how fast they move away from us we would expect them to be here with a certain brightness level at this point but when we look at them they appear dimmer so 
a type 1a supernova moving away from us this fast actually appears dimmer than we expect it to and so it appears that they're farther away than we expect them to be how can that be well that can only be that very far away from us the recessional velocities were not as fast they were slower the Hubble constant was not as steep if the slope is not as steep the Hubble constant is a smaller number which means that things must have been expanding at a slow rate in the past and they appear to be fa expanding faster today and that was just too much to believe so there's no way why would galaxies begin to expand away from us faster in other words why would space itself expand faster and faster hmm that seems strange and the reason why that is strange is because in the past galaxies were closer together they pull on one another gravitationally and they would cause some sort of drag force for the universe that makes sense hmm so now when they're farther apart well let's see here let's think let's let's put that back let's let's think about it again so in the past galaxies were closer together and so we expect that expansion to be slowing down because gravitationally the galaxies pull on one another that would still be the case today because they're still pulling on one another but not with as great a force because now they're farther apart the space is expanded so we would expect the accelerate the expansion universe to continually to slow down to slow down to slow down and the guess was that maybe in the future that expansion would stop and all the galaxies would begin to uh, fall back in together and there would be like a big crunch so to speak but since this discovery we now realize that it appears that in the past the acceleration was slower and that today the acceleration is faster so that slowdown doesn't appear to be happening for some reason the expansion universe is essentially accelerating the galaxies are moving away from us from each other faster now than they did in the past and now we say well wait a minute there should be a retarding force due to the gravitational attraction of all the galaxies to one another so why would the universe be expanding faster and faster the evidence seems pretty strong maybe somebody made some calculation errors we still need to make sure that we're what we're saying is correct but it does appear that this is happening and so something must be causing the expansion of the of the of the, of the space itself to be accelerating and we don't know what that something is what would cause it it's doing exactly the opposite of what we'd expect because gravitational force would be a retarding force should continue to slow it down and so the idea then was well there must be some sort of energy that pushes the galaxies apart that pushes space apart that expands space maybe there's some energy contained in space that is now causing it to be stronger or to produce forces stronger than the gravitational attraction and so now the expansion is happening faster and it's overpowering the gravitational attraction of the galaxies and that strange energy well we call that dark energy because we have no idea what it is we don't know what it is we can't see it we can't measure it we just there just appears to be something there that's causing acceleration to be the expansion to be accelerating wow that is quite a discovery that's not at all what we used to think and that's not all what we used to teach in our classrooms many decades ago because we thought that the expansion was continuing to slow down but it's not so there's something about space some energy some force within space that causes it to expand at a faster and faster rate and it appears to be overpowering the gravitational force of the galaxies wow again one more piece of the puzzle to try and understand what space actually is shouldn't the expansion slow down yes it should that's what we used to think for decades and decades should it slow down because the further apart it's the acceleration should slow down because the gravitational attraction should should put a drag on that expansion slow it down that's what we used to think but this is the further apart the, the gravity well, the force is uh, the, it, it, it's, a, um, it's a variable of distance. Yes, and so the force, the forces are diminishing because the galaxies are farther apart. But it's even if it's diminished, it still should slow down the expansion, right? Regardless, not as much, so that the slowdown should be less. It shouldn't be accelerating. So 
you think it's dark energy, or is that just something they pull out of an orifice? They pull dark energy out of an orifice, but it would be interesting to try and figure out what it might be. What is it about space? Is space like a coiled spring? Mm 